hey what is guys today we actually create a new piece of menu of ui actually which is going to be displayed whenever the game ends so either you win or you lose you're going to have some piece of menu that is going to turn off the rest of the menu and actually um just give you a recap of the game so here it is right now we lost so it says defeat this is the amount of damage we've done we don't keep track of it just yet but um, tower built, try again. These are three text fields and you can pretty much put anything you want in there. And you're gonna see that in the video a little bit later on, but uh, that's going to be our recap panel. And then of course you have the return button. Oh, there we go. So this is the victory one. It says different things. Right. Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are trying to slowly close this game loop. In this episode, we are actually going to create some kind of recap menu. So whenever we die, uh, we actually get some feedback of, okay, you, you actually lost. And uh, here's a button so you can go back to the hub. All right, so right now what happens is when we lose 10 lives, so that's uh, 6, 8, and 10, we only get a defeat message down here, and that's not going to cut it. So in this episode, we are going to create some UI. All right, let's go ahead and make our scene 2D again. And I am going to right click on the UI route, create a new panel, why not? And uh, this is going to be the recap information. Now this is a sim like a really simple uh, piece of UI that is going to give us a feedback on whether we won or we lost and also maybe some, some nice information. So how much damage have we done in the whole level? Or how many enemies have we let through? You know, that kind of little information we can just uh, slide in. Okay, so this panel, I am going to make it uh, anchor in the center, and I'm also going to reduce the width to something like 500 by 300. That sounds appropriate. Now, what I'll do is I will create a new button inside of that. Actually, a new text first. And uh, this first text is going to be the victory slash defeat text. I'll make sure to center it, make it stretch on the horizontal axis, uh, and then remove the right and the left value, and increase the height for say something like 75. Now I can actually increase the font size. And finally, I will anchor this on the uh, top side. So then I remove the position.y and we get this kind of result. Okay, let's go ahead and name this um, level status. Now under the same recap information object, I will create another panel. Make this one a uh, stretch on the horizontal axis. Reduce the height for say uh, 200 or maybe 150 yep they'll do it and this is going to be the uh, recap stats so we're going to have some kind of stats in there and finally we are going to create another button so UI button and this one is going to be um, anchored down here I will also make sure that its position is, oops, oh, small mistake on my part. I gotta, I gotta put it inside of the uh, recap information. So uh, I'll anchor this at the very bottom of the panel, give it a small margin of say 10, uh, maybe increase the size to 250 by 50. And let's actually change the content of that button for return to hub. Okay, and let's actually put return to hub button or something like that because it's always good to rename your stuff. All right, so now as for the recap stats, what we're going to do is we are going to create some simple UI object. And as for the content of these UI, we'll simply type in something uh, temporary. So text zero in this case. Now I'll make sure to um, align it in the center and make it a little bit bigger. And I will also add a vertical layout 
to my recap stats. So now every time I have a text, it, it's um, actually being resized and repositioned automatically. So this is going to be text zero. Uh, say we can display up to three information every round. So, so let's say this is text zero, this is text one, and this is going to be text number two. We are zero base, so we have a total of three elements. Okay. Here we go. All right. So it's simple, looking looking just just great, and um, yeah, that'll do it. All right. So now we've done the UI part of it. Let's actually go inside of our UI manager so we can take care of uh, pretty much just displaying that information whenever we need it. All right, guys. So we are going to create a new section that is going to be really similar to the wave information. So at the very end of your script, you are going to declare a new region. This one is going to be recap information. Let's actually close it off right away so we don't forget to do it. And um, the first thing we'll need is a object, container object. This one is going to be called recap info. And then we'll also take in a text array that we'll call recap info text. Below that, we will need to have a function that we can call anywhere in our script because this is uh, inheriting from Mono Singleton, so we can pretty much use its instance to call it from anywhere in the script. So this is going to be public void pop recap information. All right, so whenever we call this function, we know that the game is either uh, won or lost, so we know that pretty much we know that the game is finished. So we can hide all the rest of the UI and simply show that single panel that we just made. And that's exactly what we will be doing. So let's start by hiding pretty much everything we see. So for each game object, geo in all UI, I'll zoom in a little bit. So for every single object in our UI, we'll do go.setActive and we'll set it to false. After that, let's make sure we actually show our panel. So recap info dot set active to true. Now we should only be able to see our panel, but the values inside of it are not modified just yet. So that's what we're going to do here. So um, recap info text is going to be the array that contains all the text element of our panel. Now we're going to make sure that this one is actually assigned. So we're going to make sure that the values are actually inside of that array. So we do this over here in the initialize. If you remember, we did this with the wave info text, and we're pretty much just going to do it again for the recap info text. So recap info text is equal to recap info dot get components in children, and we're getting the text component. Now, this is going to return every single text uh, component in every single child of recap information. So if we take a look real quick, we are going to get level status because it has a text component. We are also going to get text 0, text 1, text 2 because they all have text component. Now something we might not have uh, realized just yet is we are also going to get the text inside of the button. So we got to make sure that these are in the right order because we're going to be calling them by using the index so if your recap information looks like this, uh, that's fine. But if your button is right here, just tell yourself that uh, the text of the button is actually going to take uh, index number one in this case. And if it was over here, it would take index number zero. So I'll just leave mine at the bottom because I don't want to change the, uh, the text of my button. So I'll just leave it there. Now back in our code, we are actually going to go ahead and set that information. Now, what information could we be putting in the first index? The first index says either victory or defeat. So we need some kind of way to know whenever we call this function, did we lose or did we win? Basically, the way we're going to do this is we are going to send a bool parameter. So up here in the recap info uh, parameter, we're going to say bool victory as simple as that and we will do recap info text dot text oh what's wrong 
oh, recap info text at the index zero dot text is equal to, and then we do a uh, ternary, ternary operator, not sure how it's called in English, but we check is victory true, if it is, then type in victory, and if it is not, then type in defeat, just like this. So now whenever we call this function, if it is true, we're changing this first text over here for either victory or defeat. But now, as for the other text, as for the, the three other texts, um, the information we want will be stored somewhere else. The UI manager is not going to have that kind of information. So the, the UI manager is not going to contain, say, how much damage have you done this round or uh, how many enemies have you let through. So we need to actually get this information. So what we're going to do is we are going to declare a string array up here that we'll call text with an S. So we're going to get a, uh, a simple string array and we'll just modify the value of recap info text with it. Just like this actually, let's actually do it right now. So recap info text at the index number one dot text is equal to text with an S at the index number zero. And we just do that for the two other fields. So recap info at the index two and recap info at the index three is equal to one and two. Okay, right. So this function should work in theory. Let's actually go ahead and try to call it from inside of our game. So where exactly are we going to call this? We are going to call this when the game ends. Yeah, actually that's it. We're only gonna call it when the game ends. All right, so let's actually go where uh, our game ends and I believe that is in the level manager it would only make sense if it was in the level manager so find your level manager script it should be inside of the system folder and uh, under function we have victory and we also have defeat wow I'm glad we actually put it that way that's so easy then all right so uh, whenever this happens we are going to call UI manager dot instance dot pop recap info and this one takes in parameter is this victory in this case we are in the uh, victory function so this is true and then we need a, um, a string array of text so let's actually declare it right here let's say string array is equal to text actually st string array text is equal to a new string array of size 3 because we already know that we only have three values, let's actually put it right there, why not? Now this is actually where you choose what information you put in. So whenever we win, the information I'd like to have is uh, text at the index zero is going to be total damage is going to equal x for now because we don't keep track of that value just yet. So what else could be interesting to see when you actually win? We could be putting, say, a tower built. Um, <laughs> Guys, these are text arrays. You can put anything you want. You could say text at the index 3, or I mean 2, is equal to good job, or something of the sort. It doesn't really matter. But of course, um, might be uh, it might be cool to have some stats in there so your player actually knows, has some kind of recap of what happened during the game. All right, once you have your array of three texts, that you can modify dynamically here. Um, let's go ahead and put it in here. So in our pop recap info parameters. Now let's actually do the same exact thing, but for the defeat. So I'll be copying this side. So I'll be copying these and I'll be putting them down here. Now, um, what kind of information do we want when we actually lose? We definitely don't want a good job. We want something like better luck next time or actually let's do uh, let's do try again because I'm not sure the other message would fit uh, what else let's actually leave them there why not okay so uh, the only thing we have to change is inside of the pop recap info victory is now false because we actually lost all right so I think that's going to be pretty much it actually I think we need to uh, to turn off this menu when the game starts, yep. 
and also assign it inside of our UI manager. So let's go do that. Choose the UI manager and drag and drop your recap information in the new field. So recap information over here. Now we're also going to toggle off the recap information. So whenever the game starts, we don't actually see it. And now I'm thinking about one more issue that we might have is when we toggle this menu and then we go back. Yeah, it's here. So um, let's go back in our code and inside of our pause menu, where is it at? Where is our pause menu? Oh, in the UI manager, of course. Okay, so uh, toggle game menu over here inside of the UI manager. We do um, turn off all the objects and then we do set active on the game menu. Now, every time we do this, let's make sure that our pop recap, actually our uh, recap information is set to false. So recap info that's set active, false. Every single time, just to make sure that we never actually see it when it's not time to see it. Okay, let's press play on that. Hopefully everything works fine. I'm going to press on the uh, escape. And as you can see, we don't get this problem. So this menu works. Now let's try actually uh, dying. So let's see what happens when 10 of these enemy crosses the line. So two, four, six, eight, and 10. Okay. So we get defeat message, uh, total damage that were built, and also the try again message. So that's pretty much all the information we wanted to have inside of uh, the defeat. Where is it at level manager? Defeat over here. So if we were to win, it would actually say good job instead and actually display a victory up here. Okay, now, oh, I forgot. Let's do the, uh, let's do the return to hub button. We forget about this guy. So let's actually go inside our far UI route, recap information. Inside of here, we have the return to hub button. Let's add a uh, function down here on the onclick event and drag and drop our UI manager. Now our UI manager has a script called UI manager. <laughs> and this one has a function called return to hub. So we'll be, we'll be using that one. All right, now let's try once more. I'm going to spam some minions. Go over here, show some text, why not? And we should die right now. So defeat, these are my information, return to hub. And we are actually back. So now we have, we pretty much have a whole game flow going. Um, next thing we need to tackle is actually keeping track of the information when we actually win or when we actually lose, depending on on what kind of information we want to keep track of. So let's actually keep track of how much damage you've done in the round and how many enemies have you let through. This will also give us some, uh, some information to display here in our hub, right next to our level so we can actually know, okay, so last time you did this much damage, you had a score of uh, that much, then let's try to beat it. Something of the sort, that's what I was thinking at least. So. That's going to be pretty much it guys for this episode. If you enjoy or if you learned something, please leave me a like, I really appreciate that. And also if you have any question or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Also subscribe for more tutorial like these and that's going to be pretty much it guys. So thanks again for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next episode.